So here we are inflating an inflatable paddle board with the 12 volt pump. We use the Outdoor Master 2.0, the Shark 2.0. And has this ever happened to anybody? You've gone and inflated your board to the desired PSI and you go and pull your hose out and oh, all that air that you just spent all that time inflating is now gone. So what we wanna make sure we do is you wanna push down and twist that button so it's in the higher position. See if there's a down and an up. You wanna make sure you inflate up, deflate down. Once that button is up, you attach your hose like so. Make sure it's got a nice, good, tight seal. And then also make sure that it's attached to the pump nice and snug as well. You'll notice there's two outlets here. One is inflate side and one is specifically deflate side. Obviously we're inflating, so we're gonna go there. And I'm gonna have Joey turn on the car. So then you'll be able to see the light light up here on the display. We have it right now set to stop at 15 PSI. I don't know if you can see that flashing 15. When we power it on, there's gonna be two sounds. So we have this nice, easy air mattress sound before it gets to the higher second stage. It's gonna get a little bit more vibrating, a little bit louder. So now that our board's inflated, I wanted to talk about these little O-rings, these little gaskets here that come with the shark pump. You'll see there's a small, medium, and thick gasket. Most inflatable paddle boards use this middle size, but the kit comes standard with the fattest O-ring on the HR valve that is the universal valve system for the inflatable stand-up paddle boards. So I take this one off immediately and put this guy on. This is gonna set you up for great success. It's gonna be a lot easier to insert the hose into the board and uh, get it inflated with a nice tight seal. Sometimes your friends need to have the thinner gasket or the fat gasket, so make sure you keep them with your kit, but more often than not, this is what you're gonna use.